today's drug is carisoprodol. Brand names, Soma, Vanadum. Therapeutic category is a skeletal muscle relaxant. The main indication is for musculoskeletal conditions. Used for treating discomfort from acute painful musculoskeletal conditions for a short-term duration of therapy. Efficacy evidence for usage beyond 2-3 to three weeks have not been proven. Dosage form and strength. The medication comes in a tablet. There are two main strengths, the 250 mg and 350 mg dose. Dosing by indication. Dosing for musculoskeletal conditions in adults. Initiate between 250 and 350 mg by mouth three times daily and at bedtime for up to two to three weeks. If the patient has a long-term use history of the medication, it should be gradually tapered over 14 days when discontinuing therapy. Dosing for musculoskeletal conditions in pediatrics. In adolescents greater than or equal to 16 years of age, initiate between 250 and 350 mg three times daily and at bedtime for a max daily dose of 1,400 mg per day for up to three weeks. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Though the medication's actions are not fully understood, it is clear that the carisoprodol antagonizes interneuronal activity. It also affects polysynaptic neurons in the spinal cord and areas of the brain through transmission depression. The medication is metabolized to meprobamate, which has anxiolytic and sedative effects. Overall, the various effects have a central depressant effect. The medication is metabolized through the CYP2C19 pathway to an active metabolite meprobamate. Excretion. The medication is excreted in the urine as the active metabolite. Onset of action is rapid. The time to peak is between 1.5 and 2 hours. The duration of action is between 4 to 6 hours. Half-life elimination as carisoprodol is around 2 hours and as the active metabolite is around 10 hours. Regarding protein binding, carisoprodol is less than 70% protein bound while the active metabolite is less than 25% protein bound. Special populations and considerations. Gender. Carisoprodol exposure is between 30 and 50% higher in women, but the active metabolite is not affected by gender. Reduced CYP2C9 function may lead to a fourfold increase in carisoprodol exposure. Prevalence of the CYP2C19 metabolizer status being either poor or weak is often seen in Asians and African Americans. Avoid use in the geriatric population due to the beer's criteria. Side effects. Dizziness, drowsiness, and headache are common, with drowsiness being the most common, often seen in 13-17% to 17 of patients. Drug interactions. Alcohol, opioids, barbiturates, and other muscle relaxants antihistamines, and other CNS depressants may all enhance effects of carisoprodol. Drugs that affect CYP2C19 metabolism may affect serum concentrations of carisoprodol. Monitoring parameters. Mental status and excessive drowsiness. Status of pain and muscle spasm relief. Signs of misuse, abuse, or addiction. Patient counseling information. The drug is used to relax muscles. It may be taken with or without food. If excessive side effects or seizures or a severe loss of strength and energy occurs, consult a healthcare professional.